Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Wilma, Wilma's Alternative Solutions, and we are going to do a spread today. I wanted to show you a new spread that I was looking at mur, 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 that I think will get you through anything. I think it's good for just about anything. Um, and that's my reading on those two cards. But uh, this is a great relationship spread. It can also look, you can use it for anything. You're looking at finances, um, you take the significator of the man, and then a financial card, fish or anchor, depending on which one you want to go with. You can even go with tower. It all depends on, you know, your, you're looking at financials, you're looking at um, your savings and your trust bonds, or you're looking at your job, you know, different, different, you know, that's how I pick my significators. But between a relationship, you're looking um, looking at between two people. Uh, we'll just stick with that for now. Um, and then I can show you what's going on. So there's a traditional Lenormand spread. And you can use it with Lenormand, Kipper. Um, I think it was pretty much, that's where I learned it. I'm not sure where it came from. But it is a very old standing awesome spread where you look, you shuffle, and you find the man and the woman, and you find what's in between them. And you read the cards in between them as what's in the relationship. So I expanded on that, and I'll show you what you do. So you find the man and the woman, and what's in between them we're going to put in the center. Now, <clears throat> if it's a whole bunch of cards, you have two options. You can read all those cards. <laughs> you can not find your man and woman card as you shuffle. Um, you can read all the cards in between them, or you can just pick, decide before you start on a number of cards what your maximum is, and then pick from there like the randoms. Okay, so here's the lady. And then there's the man. Okay, so there aren't a bunch of cards, but like if like 30 cards came out in between them, I always say a maximum of seven cards. And so I would like flip the cards over and I would just randomly pick seven cards and then that would be it. So we have the man, <clears throat> the woman, this is what's in between them. Very traditional. And then what I've done is, in addition to that, the three cards behind her, so in this case it would be, you know, rather the three cards in front of her, mermaid, teacups, and dog, would be what she's bringing into the relationship. Now, I'm going to flip this upside down. I remember where this came from. I leave this pile up on top for a reason because when we're looking at this, this is what's behind the man. The key, the treasure chest, and the cane, these three cards now become what he's bringing into the relationship. <clears throat> so what is his personal stuff that he's coming in with? What is he by himself bring into this? <coughs> Excuse me. And what does she bring into this? Now you could do these placeholders differently. You could do this like his own personal baggage, her own personal baggage, his past that leads up to what's going on here. Her past leads up. You know, it's all it's all up to you. The inference, but the idea is that this is general, or you can just do it as general background information that needs to be known about him in regards to relationships and how it's affecting the relationship. So, but I'm looking at right now as what he's bringing into it, what she's bringing into it, and then what's happening between them. So let's get this straight. So this is very interesting because I'm trying to like doo, 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 make this a little nicer there. So if I was going to read this spread, so 
they're looking at each other. That's what we're looking for. And then we have, oh, I have two cards, two very jumpy cards here, both the frog and the mouse. So there's a lot of jumpiness. So to me, I'm gonna say right here, it's like a lot of jumping to conclusions. There's a lot of jumping uh, to conclusions, a lot of anxieties, because these are fast. This is an anxious card. This can be a very anxious, you know, he can have anxious and, you know, some insecurities. He's still growing. These are also too small. And then you have the lion, which is big. So it's almost like this, like, uh, and the cross is also very big and powerful. So you have two powerful cards and two very small or weak cards. So right here you have this imbalance of, of dominance and, you know, uh, making one making the other feel small. And then, you know, it, it's almost like jumping to going from extremes of little things going into big things here. <clears throat> And then also just a lack of trust because the cross here is a good thing. Usually in, in these, you know, in tea, this is a good thing with the mouse running away from it. It's like your resources are running away. Um, but it's also like just the jumpiness. It's like a lack of faith. So there's a lot of things going on. So then what is she bringing into it? Okay, so she's cute. She's sociable. And she's a really good friend. So, you know, she's got it going on over here. So she knows how to lure a man in. And she looks like she could make a great trophy wife, you know, no offense, but you know, and she'd be great to take the party, you know, she'd be like great to get you a promotion at work. She's got your back right here. So that's what she's bringing in the relationship, just straight up. Just, you know, just really quick. This is how I would read this spread. And what he's bringing into it, wow, see, this is really important. This is such, this is so cute for, you know, for an example reading. <clears throat> this is a very traditional man. He's bringing in support, literally support, money, provision, key. So he's, you know, a very important provider, you know, and he's bringing in, this. you know, I see his importance almost like, um, confidence and you know he's got it going on so that's how I would read this but I hope uh, try that spread see what you think you can lay these cards out however you want you can do that you know you can use it with tea you can use it with Lenormand now with tea some people ask well what happens like in Lenormand if the man and woman like say the man is over here like this and the woman's over there, it's like, what do you do? In Lenormand, you would wrap it around. So you would actually uh, go like this. Because you need them to face each other. But in T, you have two options. You can take the Lenormand way out and have them face each other, or you can literally read, just keep it the same way of going this way through the deck, and then you would have all these cards to read. <clears throat> and this is where you would pick seven randoms. And I say seven randoms, you know, whatever. However many it is that you decided on. And then <clears throat> and then with T, the directions of the people cards are actually very important. So if they're facing away from each other, that's something that I want to know. And that tells me a lot about what's going on in the dynamics of a relationship. And that's one of the reasons why instead of doing the wraparound, the traditional way, I actually just keep it as like what's in between them. And it could be a small number of cards or a large number of cards. And if it's a large number, then I'm going to just draw a few quick um, to keep it simple because I don't need a whole bunch of cards to tell me, you know, a full reading. I can make a, you know, a full hour reading off of four cards. I mean, these get really deep, just like tarot. But again, so if the man and the woman are facing away from each other, just looking at like moon, ship, and question mark, for instance, with them facing away from each other, it's like two ships passing in the night. 
literally. And um, they just do not get each other at all. So um, I would say that they have a lot to learn and uh, they need to get onto the same page. But in any case, so try that spread out, see what you think and um, get back to me. Let me know. Take care. Hope you enjoyed that.